So now you've finished simplifying and thinking about one pixel. Now let's think about how much storage a photo takes. So first we want to calculate it, but we really need to know how numbers are stored in our computer before we can calculate this result. So let's think this is a hard drive. Um, there's a laptop one and a desktop one, and these are um, sort of the, one of the old, older style hard drives. But the idea is there's a, a bunch of little tiny, tiny, tiny little magnets inside these hard drive disks. And this, um, this arm spins around and it can, get any, it can get to any location on this disk. And there's a read write head right here. And what the read write head does is it can change the orientation of these magnets. Or, and that's with the write head, or it can read them. So when you're saving, when you take a picture and it saves to your phone or to a hard drive on your computer, it is reading these. So it's changing these magnet orientations, either from north at the top to south at the bottom, or vice versa. So, and when it's reading it, it doesn't change it, it just gets it out. Right? So the basic idea though here is that there's only two positions, right? Either up for the magnet pointing up or the magnet pointing down. So what we call these two positions is either a one or a zero. And so we can only store ones and zeros in a computer. Um, and this is called binary. Um, so you should have already watched a video on, um, on binary and how to count in binary. So, um, so hopefully now you realize why you watched that video. Um, and if you don't remember anything else um, from right now, really remember this, everything in the computer is stored as a one or a zero. And so we can't really use our method of counting, really, if we think about it, our method of counting stores 10 digits, right? Zero, one, zero is a digit, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then when, once we get to 10, we just reuse the same digits. We, re, we have a one and we have a zero. There's a very good reason for why we count in base 10 too. It's called base 10 because we have 10 digits. And binary is base two because there's only two digits, one and zero. Okay, I wonder if you can think about that for a second. Why do we count with 10 digits? because we have 10 fingers, right? So 10 figures is why we count with 10 digits. But a computer doesn't have 10 fingers, it just has an up or down, so we, can, we have to do up or down on a computer. Okay, so again, you looked at this, um, and there's an easy way to figure out what numbers are in binary. Um, I'm not gonna make you do it by hand, which is, it's a, it's a pain if you do it by hand. Um, there's a, a website uh, called Wolfram Alpha that can convert any number to binary. And Wolfram Alpha is just like a, they call it a computational search engine. I highly recommend you look at it for any, anything you wanna know um, about data or computation. It can solve calculus problems. It can just solve simple math problems. It can tell you the population it can compare two, two cities for their population and their crime rate and all that kind of stuff. It's a really, really cool tool. Um, but let's think about now, if we think about converting, we have one pixel of red, green, and blue, and they're all zero to 255. And our number system is um, um, base 10, as I said. And now we need to convert that to a value a computer could store, that it's only binary or base two. Okay, so we need to convert basically this zero to 50, 255. That's what, we, that's what we've been thinking about. But we can't store 255 on a computer. We can only store zeros and ones, right? So again, if we used our counting from binary and you went all the way from zero to 255, we would actually get one, 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 one. So if you remember, in a previous video, I was talking about 255 is special, it's because 255 is exactly eight ones. So, um, so you can think of 255 as a special number because it's eight ones. 
So that's why we use that because then we just need eight places on our computer hard drive to store one of these numbers, okay? Okay, so now just another uh, little little tidbit. I don't know why I said bit, I wasn't even trying to be, be um, do a pun there, but the, the terminology here is that each one or zero location on a hard drive, so each one of those little tiny magnets in a hard drive is called a bit. So that's just a location where we, a bit is just a location where we can store a one or a zero. So we call eight bits that we put together a byte. So just remember that the bit is a single one or a zero and a byte is eight of them, okay? Then we use something called engineering notation because we don't usually talk about bytes because we have a lot of bytes on our computer to put in front of byte to quantify how many our storage device has. So you might have heard of kilobyte, megabyte, or gigabyte. A lot of times gigabytes you'll see on the phones is just GB. And even terabyte if you have a, a, a big um, storage um, device. So that's usually how we think of computer storage. So that's how we take the, the concept of how stuff is stored as ones and zeros on a, on a computer to something that we know of and something we can read off of a spec sheet of um, a phone or a hard drive or something like that. So again, big note, storing up to the number 255 take, takes either eight bits or one byte. Okay, so what I want you to do is I want you to use this information that we've just been going over and I want you to think about, I'm gonna show you the solution in a second, but I really want you to think about how much this image should take in memory. And again, I'm gonna show you the solution, so don't, don't think that this is, and you're gonna be doing problems like this for um, your, your homework, so that's why I really want you to think about it. So let's just talk about what information, underneath the, this orange box is the actual answer, but let's think about what information we want to use out of here. So if we think about this 3,024 times 4,032, that's actually how many pixels across by how many pixels up and down this photo is. Oh no, forget you saw that. So that's how many um, pixels there are. So it's kind of like length times width to get the total amount of pixels here, you multiply these two numbers together. So it turns out if we multiply these two numbers together, we get about 12.2 million. You can double check with the calculator if you want. And the reason why I know that is because this next number over here is 12.2 megapixels. And if we remember, our mega means million. So that's how I know that. So it's 12.2 million pixels. And if you remember, each one of those pixels has three locate three things it's storing, right? Red, green, and blue. And each one of those red, green, and blues are storing up to um, the number 255, which needs one, which needs eight bits or one byte. Okay, so I just said a lot. So if you need to, rewind and think about that again. And what I want you to do is pause here and think if you can think about how much space in megabytes or kilobytes, probably megabytes is the best thing, how much space in megabytes this picture should take up. So go ahead and pause and just try to do that, try to think about that, and then we'll go over the solution in a second. All right, you're back. Hopefully you paused it there and just thought about that. So let's go ahead and look at the solution. So this was the first thing I said out loud. We have 12.2 million pixels. So that's, that was the calculation, right? Megapixels. Each pixel has to store one byte for each of the RGB, so three bytes total. So we have three bytes in a pixel, and we have 12.2 megapixels in the image, right? So we have, um, we can cancel out this pixels and this pixel, right? And so that makes, that makes us get 36.6 megabytes per image, 
okay? So that image takes up 36.6 megabytes, okay? So now let's look at what my phone actually says it takes up. So now, this is the problem. My phone, it's only taking up 2.7 megabytes. But we can just calculate it and we thought about how photos are stored and, it's, and we calculated it as 36.6 megabytes. So some really smart people back in the day knew that computer space is limited and we'd rather not store anything we didn't have to. So they do something called compression. Um, one of the most con famous compression things is an MP3 for audio. But there's lots of, um, there's a JPEG for um, JPEG, um, which this picture is. That's a um, photo format. And basically it takes the raw sort of RGB values and figures out a better way to store them with less space without losing any of the quality. In some cases it loses some of the quality, depends on the compression. So that's why these solutions differ because we have a compression, um, we have compression of the image going on. So next time we just finished up, um, you know, we finished up the uh, data with the pictures. We're gonna do sound next time. So um, just be ready for that and I will see you next time.